So today is Friday, March 9th, and Andrew and I are getting ready to get our day started. I did uh, the Shauna Virtue Method day two, or VM2 today. I just finished that. Well, actually, I finished that, then I made our bed and tried to figure out if schools were canceled because it's snowing again today. It's such a snowy winter wonderland here. And I, anyway, I am planning to have a coconut. Andrew just opened up a coconut for me, so I'm really, really excited about that. And yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to have some mangoes soon. They're not quite ripe yet, but yeah, that's the plan eventually. I also will probably be taking some food with me because today I'm having a spa day. I'm getting a massage and like this treatment at Bodhi Spa in Hudson, New York. And I'm really excited about that. And I've never done it before. It's like a, a hot stone massage. I did a little bit the other day. I had a massage that I was gifted before our wedding two years ago. And I finally used the gift certificate. And the lady was awesome. She was really great. I really enjoyed the massage. And she did a little bit of stone work on me, but not a lot. And I'm also excited because I'm going to the infrared sauna today too. I forgot I booked that too. So I'm doing the infrared sauna and then I'm doing this whole treatment. So we'll see. We'll see. Because I'm usually like, oh, I don't know because I don't know what they use. I don't whatever. So I'm just kind of embracing it and I'm hoping they use as natural ingredients as possible. You know, it's kind of difficult when you go to the spa because they all want to put stuff on your body. But I think I got like the one, the package that I got was the Bliss package. So I think when I was looking at the description, they use pretty much natural ingredients and things. But we'll see. So I will keep you posted about that. But I'm going to go and um, go to work today. And then I will go to the spa. So I'm going to take some food with me. I made some potatoes last night and I ate, I ate a few of them. It's really funny because I eat during the day and then... I feel like, oh, I'm bloated or like, you know, I don't know. I just I just feel like overwhelmed because I really don't want to gain the weight back that I, I gained, like in terms of fat. I'd rather gain weight back in muscle. Personally, that's what I'm working on because look at these little little guys are a little bit little. They're getting a little bit bigger, but they're they're pretty small. And I, I, I want my arm to have muscles instead of one like line. So we're working on that. I'm working on that. You see? It's like a little bit. A little bit. Anyway, so that's what I'm working on and I just get overwhelmed sometimes. But every time I wake up in the morning, I feel great. I don't feel like, like I, I don't know. I feel really good. And so, I don't know, I'm just, I yesterday was having a really, really hard day. I was having a really hard time because I just kept getting in my head like, Okay, I, I'm not really following what the people who uh, run the fast say and I was feeling a little bit overwhelmed with that and yeah, so, so anyway, I'm just accepting where I am right now and appreciating where I am right now and yeah, that's what I'm doing and I, I've been reading a lot of books and my mom has been motivated to work out and eat well and she found this like really cool thing and but the thing is the food that they recommend is like chicken and turkey and egg whites and all this stuff which I'm learning like I have learned and I'm learning even more about that it isn't the best thing to eat for you it's not very healthy for you actually even though that's what a lot of people believe which is kind of funny because I'm in, I'm not done with Proteinaholic. I know I've been talking about this book for so long, but it's just that I'm not really making time to read it. Last yesterday, I just wanted to kind of relax and watch some TV, which I did a little bit. But then Andrew and I kind of we did some work and we put in. Um, well, we're getting our logo created, so that's what we're, we worked on that a little bit last night and. You know, I was doing some things, but anyway, that's not the point. I'm kind of going off topic right now, but my mom was doing this like thing where she found and anyway, so basically she asked me to come up with a food eating guideline for herself 
that's actually vegan friendly. So I'm actually really excited to do that because it's like I have all these recipe books and all of these recipes in my head or just like these ideas I have in my head and I just feel like I could come up with a really good eating plan for her that would help her achieve what she wants and I'm hoping to come up with kind of like the guidelines that they have like they basically say like breakfast lunch and dinner plus two snacks so I'm really excited to help her create a meal plan for herself to you know get the results that she would like so that's what I am excited to work about work on and once I do that I'm hoping to maybe create that document or something like that and help you like share it to everyone if you're interested because it's just like there's a lot of times where people put recipes up but it has meat or dairy or things like that and I don't know it's just like confusing so what I want to do actually is put in chronometer the amount of food that they're saying to eat on these in these workout books that recommend eating a lot of protein and meat and things like that so I just want to see what nutrients they're getting and or like how many calories just to see like what they're recommending on a daily basis with the food plan that they have that way I could come up with something comparable that is actually vegan and provides pretty much the same thing and more because fruits and vegetables have way more minerals and and vitamins and things like that than meat does and there's no cholesterol too like with the eggs you have the cholesterol and they're saying eat the egg whites but it's like why eat the egg whites it's like that's not even where like the chick is the yellow part which has like all the nutrients so it's like but then it has all the cholesterol so it's like why eat the eggs in the first place when you could have oatmeal or you could have granola or you could have whole grain pancakes or you can have whole grain waffles or you could have a smoothie or you can have the list goes on there's so many things that you could have instead of eating egg whites that taste way better too because like egg whites don't really taste very good until you put salt and pepper and things on it you know it's not like mm, this egg one is delicious like I've had eggs before I used to love eggs but I would put tons of salt and pepper on them or put ketchup on them you know, or put mayonnaise and make an egg salad. So what's mayonnaise? It's more eggs with oil and tons of seasoning so that it tastes really good. So anyway, this is something that I'm working on and I'm really excited to start doing that. I hope to work on it this weekend actually. That way my mom can kind of be set up and get going with what she wants to do. And so yeah, I'm really kind of excited about doing this. Because there are like, you know, a lot of books that I have, but I, you know, I think my mom is wanting to do this for like three months or something like that. So it'd be nice to just have like a meal plan for her for three, the next three months. So yeah, I also am planning to use some recipes from Forks Over Knives and things like that because those are already written out and, you know, in this guide I would definitely put that I got the recipe from Forks Over Knives. So. Anyway, I just wanted to share that. But anyway, I'm about to go eat my coconut, brush my teeth, get ready for the day, get dressed, because I will be leaving in about half an hour to go to do the work that I love. I'm so excited. I love going to my work. I love it. It's wonderful. It's a wonderful thing that I do. But it's like not even work for me, because I just love it. It's like I wake up and I'm like, oh, I get to go see Sarah, Gabe, and Orion. I'm so excited you know, or whoever I'm seeing for the day. But I mostly see them because I see them the most and they're really great and I love them. Anyway, I am gonna go now and get that done. But I just want to let you know that I'm starting the day off with a nice coconut water. All right, I will talk to you later. I hope you have a wonderful day. Enjoy your day. If you live in the Northeast, enjoy the snow. Hopefully you drive, well, definitely drive safely, not hopefully. I put the intention of you driving safely into this universe, into the world, into the snow. And if you live in a warm place, enjoy those fruits, enjoy that sun. And if it's raining, I hope the plants will get all the water they need to grow and that way we can eat them. All right, hopefully you have a wonderful morning 
and I will see you soon. Hello there, so I'm waiting because I have a, a spa appointment today. Um, I have a spa appointment because I got a gift certificate a while ago and I'm finally using it, which is great. So anyway, I'm sitting here and I just want to touch base with what I ate today. I had that coconut water earlier and then I ate a mini watermelon. I ate all of it. It was in this container here, I can show you. I had it in this container, it was like totally full. I finished that up. And then I had a Kent mango. I bought some Kent mangoes, they're my favorite variety, but the mangoes that I bought are not quite ripe yet and I opened one up just to see, to make sure, and it wasn't really that good. And then in addition, I also ate this container size, which is like, I think it's my head, -ish. It holds two cups. Um, and that was like, that was filled with, um, with gold potatoes that I put some uh, yellow onions and I also put dulce apple cider vinegar and lemon juice on as well so and black pepper and that's so far what I ate I'm about to go into this appointment it starts at 2 30 so I'm a little early and it, I don't I think it's like goes to like 5 30 or something I don't really know for sure so anyway I just wanted to let you know that and yeah. Anyway, sorry, my brain just kind of stopped functioning. Actually, it didn't stop functioning. I was thinking about something completely different than what I was talking about, which is why I just kind of stopped talking. Anyway, I am excited for this appointment and I cannot wait. And I had a really, really good time today. I got to hang out with Orion and he was wonderful. And yes, I don't know if I'm gonna put that in the video though. Just note. I had a really great day at my work that I do, so it was wonderful and I just really enjoyed myself. So I'm excited for this, I can't wait till after to make some supper for myself because I definitely will be hungry after this. So yeah, alright, I'll talk to you later, bye! I just finished my services, I feel so relaxed and so nice. It was my first time doing a stone massage and that felt really, really nice. The only thing is that I did ask her if she could work on my hamstrings and I don't think she did because they feel still really sore. They're not like the rest of my body, so that's kind of sad. And I was like kind of asleep for some of it, so I didn't remind her or ask her again. So that's kind of sad. But then I did the infrared sauna and I took a shower and it was wonderful. It was so nice. So yeah. Anyway, that's that. So, I'm on my way now to, I think I'm gonna go to the farm store. This way I can get some stuff to eat for supper. I'm excited. I am just kind of want some steamed veggies and some, like, I think I want some steamed potatoes. <laughs> I'm really liking the potatoes. They make me feel really grounded, which is nice. broccoli but I'm not sure how that will settle with me but I had like one no I had two really good bowel movements and I had some not so good ones but I had a really really good one and finally my stool is more solid it's not so um I guess loose <laughs> not like too much information but I thought I'd share it I finally have more solid stools so that's great Anyway, I am gonna head out now. And I'll talk to you later. I'll keep you posted with my supper for my last meal that I'm having. Alright, talk to you later. Bye. Alright, I just got home and I also wanted to say something I forgot. I had a little bit of water for the first time and it just like was not satisfying. The coconut water has been way more satisfying, the grape juice has been way more satisfying. I drank the water and I just felt like thirsty afterwards. It was like, not good. So anyway, I came home and the durian it thawed even more. So I kind of opened it up here. I didn't kind of, I actually did open it. You see, I got it to open. So I'm gonna have some durian right now. And then we'll see how I feel later. Cause I really did want to have like some sort of like potato dish or something with some veggies like broccoli and maybe asparagus and things. so we'll see 
but the jury might just be exactly what I want and what I need and that might be it for the night. I'll let you know, I'll keep you posted. All right. Bye. All right, so I'm home now. I picked up Andrew. He's getting ready to do what he needs to do for his fast, but I got a little bit hungry because I didn't really eat that much today. And I made myself this bowl of veggies. You can sort of see it, you know, it's like a little bit dark in our house. But it's steamed carrots, broccoli, asparagus, juca, which is a root vegetable, over arugula with some onions, and I put some kimchi over here on the side. And then I put um, lem lemon juice, um, I put lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, and a little bit of black pepper on top. And that's it. So that's my supper for tonight. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to find out when we're doing next new videos, subscribe to our channel and please comment. We'd love to hear from you. Have a great night. Hope you had a wonderful supper too. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.